So today, final thoughts. I am wrapping up my series on product liability tips for the defense. I'm Trisha Baxter and I'm all about helping companies and lawyers efficiently navigate the world of litigation so that they gain clarity, make better business decisions, and ultimately stop wasting unnecessary time and money. So wrapping up this series, which has been so challenging and interesting and a, a journey that I never thought I would undertake, but I did it. And I want to leave you to leave you with two final thoughts. One, love what you do. I love my product liability cases. There's something about getting into the product, learning its design, its safety features, visiting the plant, getting your hands on it. Something I've always found interesting. And if you don't love what you do, if you don't like the practice areas that you're in, it won't be sustainable. You will not be able to develop a career out of it or enjoy meeting the people that you need to meet with for the next 20 to 30 years of your career. I love it. I hope you do too. My last tip, find a mentor. I know everybody says this, but it is so important, especially in product liability at practice area. It is so nuanced. And some of these things you really are only going to learn from somebody who has walked the walk. I hope this vlog series helps you with issue spotting, that when you see a complaint or you get a discovery response, it triggers a light bulb in your head to look further. It is by no means intended to be a soup to nuts uh, series on how to practice product liability law. The only way you're gonna get better is to get, find a mentor. There's some things you just can't read about in a book. And for me, my first mentor in product liability was Bruce Wickersham at Post and Shell. He is amazing. And two things that I learned from him that stay with me today. Number one, get creative on your cases. You're gonna hit a lot of brick walls. You're not gonna know how to get around them, but you're gonna have to figure it out. And it is not check the boxes. It is not a routine practice. You have to think differently in many of your cases. And he taught me that. Second thing, he sat down with me for hours on end and walked me through different things. My first jury trial, he taught me how to pick a jury and it was amazing. Like I never would have learned that stuff by reading a book on how to pick a jury. So find a mentor, whether you're in the practice of law or you're in an insurance company, find either a partner who's done it or a supervisor who's done it. And the most important part, that person has to be willing and enjoy teaching you. So find that person. Thanks guys. I love doing this series. I'm going to do another one. I haven't quite figured it out what it is yet. Happy to hear some ideas, but this has been the best journey I've had in a long time because it was something that I didn't know how to do at all. And I'm figuring it out and that's pretty cool. So Thank you guys for joining me. Stick around for the next vlog series. If you're looking to close claims or files, make sure to follow me for weekly tips on how to get that done.